There are five things I'll discuss when it comes to Proverbs chapter 11, verse 13. The first thing is gossip. Gossip is idle talk which foolishly or maliciously spreads rumors or facts. The effects of gossiping are divisive and destructive. In the case of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 13, gossip has disastrous effects. Here are some other scriptures to consider regarding this truth. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 28 says, A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. And Proverbs chapter 11, verse 13, of course, says, Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. Also in Proverbs chapter 25, Five, verse 9 through 10 says argue your case with your neighbor himself and do not reveal another's secret lest he who hears you bring shame upon you and your ill repute have no end proverbs chapter 26 verse 20 says for lack of wood the fire goes out and where there is no whisper, quarreling ceases. And Proverbs chapter 17 verse 9 says, Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. On the second thing involving Proverbs chapter 11 verse 13 to remember or to discuss is the negative aspects of speech. The sinfulness of fallen human nature can express itself in speech, provoking God's displeasure and causing enmity and division amongst people. This proverb, chapter 11, verse 13, involves the kinds of evil speech, particularly that of gossip. A few cross-reference scriptures to also look at are Proverbs chapter 20, verse 19. It says, Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with a simple babbler. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 28. A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. And Proverbs chapter 17, verse 9 says, Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. And the third concept also involving speech is the power and and significance of speech. A person's speech has an enormous influence for good or ill and is a sure guide to character. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 12 through 13 reminds us of the timing of speech uh, that in that there is an appropriate time for silence. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 27 says, But some worthless fellows said, How can this man save us? And they despised him and brought him no present but he held his peace. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19 says, When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is prudent. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 27 through 28 says, Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 23 says, Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Proverbs 26 verse 4 says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 2 through 3 says, Be not rash with your mouth, nor let your heart be hasty to utter a word before God. For God is in heaven and you are on earth. Therefore let your words be few, for a dream comes with much business and a fool's voice with many words. And Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 20 says, But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. And James chapter 1 verse 19 says, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. So the fourth topic of five is secrecy. Secrecy is behaving in a way designed to keep intentions or feelings hidden from others. In scripture, acting or speaking in secret is often linked with wrongdoing, although not in all cases. But nothing can be kept secret from God. So Proverbs chapter 11 verse 13 reminds us of secrets, particularly of human secrets. Romans chapter 2 verse 16 says, On that day when, according to my gospel, God judges the secrets of men by Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 24 through 25 says, But if all prophecy and an unbeliever or outsider enters, he is convicted by all, he is called to account by all. The secrets of his heart are disclosed and so falling on his face. He will worship God and declare that God is really among you. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 12 says, I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. And of course, in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 13, whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. And the last topic is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness is that quality of truthfulness and dependability which rewards faith. God is trustworthy and his people are called to be trustworthy in their dealings with other people. Scripture warns against pinning one's hopes on people and things that will prove untrustworthy. Proverbs 11.13 involves the qualities of those who are trustworthy, 
particularly in the ability to keep confidences. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 19 says, Whoever goes about slandering and reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a simple babbler. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 9 says, Argue your case with your neighbor himself and do not reveal another's secret. And Proverbs chapter 11 verse 13 says, Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. Here are some other videos that might be helpful. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like and share.